seven. Hello, Ferretwood. Do you like to watch on TV? And what is your favorite movie for so far? Oh, what do I like to watch on TV? Uh, Adult Swim. That's that's a good program. It's one of the best programs. Uh, Malcolm in the Middle. That's a good show. What else we got? You know, just a bunch of stuff, really. History Channel, Discovery Channel, music videos, Comedy Central. I don't know, man. There's all kinds of stuff. I don't watch too much TV, though. <laughs> it might sound like I do, but... Just watch little things. Um, Regis and Kelly? No, I have to watch that. I don't like it. Um, uh, let's see here. What's your favorite movie so far? Man, I guess it would be Kill Bill. I guess. Um, also, Ferret, do you think I should get the Sig 5.5 or the Remy first? If I wait for it and I buy it, I'd regret it, but I lose a lot of SP. I don't want to make that mistake again. Uh, I think you could just kind of answer your own question there. The game's over, but the Remington is the way to go, because otherwise you'd regret it, probably. Yep, just use that broken Remington, and you will quickly get your Sig. Never repair that Remington if that's all you use. Uh, let, let's just move in here and try and do some sniping. Morty a little slow. Wow, they're really slow if they're coming this way. I updated some map narrations also. To, uh, just a little thing to say. Yeah, if you didn't know, this little side thing. On the forums, uh, in the top right corner, there's a little news section. I always update that saying if we, you know, what episode came out or just little news things here and there. Um, let's see here. I hate this spot. Uh, answer. Let's. Uh, sorry. Number eight. Hey, ferret. Do you work out? I uh, just a little bit. No, nothing too crazy. I don't hit the gym or anything. Or wait. Uh, never mind. Let me ask that again. I had this whole planned out. I forgot. Okay, ferret. Do you work out, man? The only workout I do is on the Wii, man. That's a workout right there in itself. <sighs> no, <laughs> I don't play Wii, but... No, you know, just a little th little things here and there. Number nine. Hey, Fair, when I play Battlefield 1942 and I click on a server, it loads and it says, error, wrong version. Do you want to update? I click yes and nothing happens. Okay, it's been a long time since I've done that stuff, but my guess is Battlefield doesn't update itself. I don't think it does. Not to my knowledge, it, I don't think it ever did. Maybe when it first came out, but that was it. Um, what uh, you probably need to do is... Actually, you probably need to do two things. Wow. <laughs> um, you're going to have to update your Battlefield patch and your Punk Buster. Um, so, to do your the patch, go to FilePlanet.com. And just search for Battlefield 1942 patches and get the latest version. Oh, look, there's a little vote thing. I don't know why they're voting. I'm not 100%, so I press the page down. Um, so, yeah, just search that and find the latest one. Or you could look for it on Battlefield servers. Uh, look, I'm, vo I'm being voted. Oh, no. Um, don't freak out. Who cares? Let me just concentrate on this. Okay. Um, so, yeah, search for that. Also, you could tell what uh, server they're running what version the server is running on uh, on the main lobby menu there's like a little arrow at the bottom I, it took me I didn't even know it was there for like a year or two just search for it click every little arrow you can and that can do it I don't have my battlefield game anymore it got erased and I can't reinstall it so I have to wait a little while before I could get that again and to get your punk buster google search punk buster and uh, 
and that will take you to the Punkbuster website. You could find it from there. I don't know the exact web the exact web address, but you'll find it. They have instructions. You're gonna have to move it into a file. Actually, you can get a thing called some some pro Punkbuster program file. It, like updates your games, and you you uh, tell which game you have, and it automatically does it for you once you click update this game for me or something like that so just search for that if you have more questions just ask me because I I never used that before but I recently got it for Call of Duty and it's actually a really nice program on the Punk Buster website um, let's go here next question oh it's a long one I better not <laughs> do it right yet Come on, dang it. Oh no, my mouse. No. Oh well. <laughs> I have uh, my mouse is dying on me. Some sometimes it'll like it won't move or it'll move to the side and shoot randomly. It just happened right there. I need to get a new one. I probably won't though. <laughs> Dang it. Um, okay. Let's just snipe from here. Eh, let's charge him. Maybe I'll die. So I can answer the question. Yes! Hey, Fair, it's a good I is it a good idea re to repair a, a damaged MG36? Mine's about to break. I hate seeing SP gone to waste, and possibly any MG36 tips you could think of such as long distance fights close range open areas choke points on any map single shot or burst seems impractical episode ele okay um yeah you should repair it it's almost useless broken um mg36 tips let's see watch episode 11 and i think i covered a little bit in episode 14 and 15 but use that episode content directory, guys. Please just search for 36, and you know you could find which episodes and stuff like that, and watch them. I think I did cover it a decent amount in episode 11. Long distance fights, hold it down. Close range, hold it down. Open areas, hold it down. Choke points, hold it down. You know you're really gonna cover your teammates. Just watch episode 11. If you still have more questions, please ask. Have you ever seen a guy who's good with the MG36? If yes, can you tell me what he does? Uh, use it so good. Uh, I've seen people get a good amount of kills with it, but that doesn't mean they're good with the gun. What a good player does. Have I seen someone at times? <laughs> um, what they do is they cover their teammates. They they block the enemy. They allow the teammates to move forward. You know, stuff like that. Everything an MG36, a machine gunner should do. Not just MG36. Um, number 11. Ferret, do you have Uber Micro? If not, why? If yes, then when did you get it and what games are you using it? I have Uber Micro in my head. I don't play any RTS games, but I guess that's what it's mainly used for. Correct me if I'm wrong, I really don't know. But uh, in my head, I like on shooting games like this I uh... I think of what my teammate should do I think of what you know how I if I were if I were my teammate what I would be doing and stuff like that but of course everybody's individual so they all do their own thing so in my head yes if not no why uh... because I don't know I just I just don't have it it's a mystery it's a it's a uh... It's a mysterious force in this world, isn't it? Um, number twelve. For oh, what games do I use? It in? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Shooting games in my head. Number twelve for map narrations. Can you do a single one as well as you do blue and red? Because I single more often than I team. I uh, I think I covered the this in a in one of my episodes some single battle tips I think it was I was on the map missile search an episode content directory if it's not there look for the map missile but I kinda covered it really all you're doing they're all the same really you just want to find the main area that everybody's fighting in or the main area with the most access points 